Hello everyone and welcome to another video and actually the idea for this video is a question on my website the, actually the question is can I create uh, the script which will automatically create a drainage system from a CAD file and actually I did uh, use some script I think uh, maybe one or two years ago uh, which can create installation from a CAD file and I also did uh, talk about that on some webinar so I already have uh, prepared some example so I just did find the script find this example and I, I want to present you so this can be a, a good starting point so what we have here in, in this example we have some uh, AutoCAD file uh, which is linked to this sample project file mm, it's some DVG and uh, if we take a look uh, what we have here for the layers so all those like lines uh, in the green color uh, have this layer p dash pipe all those lines have this layer d dash duct and finally those like uh, magenta color have this layer uh, ct which uh, should stand for the cable tray and now the idea is to force dynamo to recognize those lines to use those lines to create actual installations so if we go to the 3d view we don't have anything right now or here and now we will also uh, turn on the dynamo and now we have uh, revit and dynamo side by side uh, i will turn off these properties okay so actually i did not create this script uh, i did find it on this i did find this script on the forum uh, you can check this link over here you can see who is the author of that script and i did edit this uh, script maybe that script did cover only one type of installation so i did add those two or maybe i did also edit something in in those nodes i cannot really remember but you can again you can find that script uh, if you want to have that original script and you can compare it and see what you need to add uh, in order to to have the script like this we have only two packages over here that we need and actually uh, all that we need to do is actually to select from which cat file we want to uh, import some lines and from those lines to create uh, pipes cable trays or ducts and basically that's it I will talk further for each of those uh, types of installation and for all those nodes but for now let's just create those installations so I will click select I will select that CAD file and now I can if I have uh, the input for all those installation inside one CAD file I can basically uh, select it over here and just relink uh, all those um, inputs but okay I will again select this CAD file and select again same CAD file click run and now I have pipes I have ducts cable trace probably I don't have yeah because visibility so we have cable trace if you go to 3d view we have all those installations that is okay now there are two problems which uh, I can see uh, with this script and I didn't work on, on this script uh, first things are all uh, the T's and uh, you already saw in my uh, connect devices video then we can force Dynamo to automatically create uh, those T's or tabs fittings which whichever you prefer we can we can uh, make that but I didn't I just found this script and I want to present to you if you want to play further with this so you you don't have T fittings in this script but you can make it uh, you can you can force Dynamo to create them. That is one thing. The second thing is uh, all those. If you have like I don't know two thousand lines for some installation inside the CAD, okay, you will have also two thousand either pipes, cable trays, uh, ducts. But all those um, elements will be on the same height and it will have same dimension. Uh, so that is also a problem. You will need to to think uh, about that. So either you will have a multiple layers for the for the different dimensions, and th then you will need to extend this a little bit. 
uh, or also you will have some different layers for the different uh, elevations you can also go in that way but uh, in this script you will have everything in the same level and the same height with the same dimension of course you can choose on which level you want to place this on which height uh, which dimension do you want to to have but it will be the same for all elements and basically the, the this part of the script for pipes it's identical with uh, ducts and cable trays of course we did have this node to select an input and that is okay and here we did say you will need to read what whatever i have in this layer and this node over here will transfer whatever you have over here to lines so from that cat file we will now having the dynamo lines we will flat all those lines we will check if some some of those lines have some null value and if we don't have null as a value we will transfer everything to this pipe by lines you already know we did have this node then before so in order to create the pipes with this node you also need to provide which type of, of the pipe you want to use which system type you want to use level and diameter so all of that we did define how did we define pipe type let's go back so we did say over here in, in this input zone that uh, for the pipe type we should use a type with index one now we need to retrieve uh, all the types which we have in the model so over here we can see that we have some two different types of, of the pipe we can also see what is the name of those types so it's a standard and the chilled water so if i go back to my model and if i uh, run this pipe command and i will need to turn on now properties so again if we run the command for modeling the pipes and if we and if we want to take a look what uh, pipe types we have so we have those uh, two types for the chilled water and the standard type of pipe and we did say that we want to use uh, this type with the index one it's a chilled water so again this dynamo use that it did use chilled water everything is okay uh, now uh, we need also to define system type down there we did uh, define system type how did we define that system type basically on the same way uh, as we did define this pipe type so we did say okay use the system uh, with the index zero so we did retrieve all uh, system type that we have in the model and we did say in this case you use system with the index zero that is a hydronic supply is it a hydronic supply yeah it is and now actually your question was related can we create all of this but if we want to use drainage system type of course we can so i would create at first new system type i can also create that system type uh, from the dynamo but for this example i will create as a duplicate from a sanitary so it's a range okay i will need to run the script again in order to have that system over here so now it's not anymore uh I don't want pipes uh, with the index zero i want a pipe with the index 11. so if i run the script again now all my pipes will have that drainage system okay and what else we need to define we need to define level we did say that all uh, elements should be on the level one and finally we also said that we need to uh, have diameter which dimension did we choose we did say that we need to have 40 diameter it's a four let's see what else we have here 65 let's for example go with 65 run the script 65 65 okay and now basically it's the same story for the rectangular ducts but i mean because it is a rectangular ducts we don't have here diameter we have width and height so everything else is the same we did read uh, duct types and we did say we want to use duct type with the index one meter elbow 
meet red elbow tease. Did we use that? Meet red elbow tease. Yeah, it is. Uh, we did define system type. We did say we have three system that is supply return exhaust. And let's go with the uh, index one that is returner. So if we want to change that to be a supplier, we will use index zero. Run the script. Now everything is in that supplier system type. And of course, level it's a level one with height 300, 100. Let's go, for example, with 400 and 300. Run the script. Now it is a 400, 300. Okay, and let's also cover the cable tray. Here's the cable tray. Cable tray node has everything the same, but it doesn't have a system type because cable tray does not have a system. It has service type, but that is not required for this node over here. So we did transfer everything from this layer uh, CT to, to the lines, and then we did deliver those lines to this node. We did define a cable tray type. What did we choose? So we have default default. Then we did save index one. So so we did use some default uh, cable tray type. Width and height 250. Let's go with 300 and 100. Run. And now everything is 300, 100. And we did use some default type. And basically that's it. it there is a, a lot of rooms for improvement, but if anybody wants to play with this script further, uh, I support that and thank you for watching this video. Bye.